Okay, today we're going to be looking at the cost calculator built into ProRip. This is a new feature that was just added recently, so if you don't have it, make sure you do an update. You'll notice on the top now you have a picture of a printer with a calculator. Go ahead and click that. Now I have filled out these characteristics for the printer I'm using, which is an iColor 550, so you'll need to enter these same characteristics in for your printer. Whatever printer you have, it's pretty simple. Just get the uh, yield information and the cost per toner cartridge, fuser, transfer belt, waste bottle. Enter all of that in. Um, now once you do that, you could click the update button and what it would do is copy this same data over to the other queues. So we have the overprint, the underprint, and the CMYK queue loaded for the, our 550. It would copy that same data for all of them. Of course, in the case of the CMYK queue, you then would go back and update the white toner to black toner and enter in the correct cost. Okay, just click OK. Now you can bring an image in. I've prepared an image that's somewhat representative of the average print. You could be printing more or less than this, but this is a typical A4 page with some writing, some um, uh, bars of color, sign magenta, yellow, black, and then we have a white bar. This is full spot white on the bottom. Um, I'll go ahead and unmirror that so you can read it. So just click this calculator button one more time. It's going to ask you, um, it's going to say the job is not ripped. Would you like to rip it? Yes, I would like to rip it. So in this case, we're ripping it without printing it. When it's done, just make sure it's highlighted once again and click that calculator button one more time. And now you have all the costs associated with every component that you entered. The fuser, the transfer belt, the waste bottle, sign, magenta, yellow, and uh, white toners listed. Um, you could have entered your labor cost, you could have entered your shirt cost, all of that stuff could have been done in the previous step. But the toner alone you'll see comes out to uh, 25 cents in this case. So you can export that, you can save it, um, you can print it, show it to your customer, maybe justify uh, the pricing. <laughs> um, and that's it, it's pretty simple. I hope you got something out of this and uh, good luck.